Our Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande teaming up with Taylor Swift for new music. And will we be seeing Nikki, Miley, Rita, and Katie in Madonna's new music video? Did you hear the rumor that Liam and Miley broke up due to her open sexuality? Well, friends, we have got the truth for you and nothing but the truth on Rumor Patrol. It is that time, my friends. Time for Rumor Patrol. The Davises are at your service. In full effect. We got Jake here. Pretty excited. I'm excited to be here, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. And I got our first rumor going to kick us off real quick. Are Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande working on a new music on new music with the Swizzle? He's so excited he can so barely excited. get the question so out. So excited. I don't know about all of you, but I am as excited as you are about got, this possibility. I got peanut butter in my mouth over peanut it. Peanut butter in the mouth. Okay, so this is really two stories. First, let's start with Selena Gomez. Is she working on new music with Taylor Swift? Well, we do know for a fact she's working on new music, that is true, but according to the gems over at Hollywood Life, they are saying this. Taylor has a really profound impact on Selena. She encouraged Selena to make an effort to write more of her own songs. Taylor thinks it's so important for young artists to take ownership of their music and not let record labels decide what their sound is going to be. The article goes on to say that Taylor sat down with Selena to talk about the writing process and that despite all of her success, Taylor's still super down to earth with her advice and not arrogant whatsoever. I mean, what do you think about this possibility? Well, working on new music is a relative term. I think it's very likely that they were collaborating on something, sat down, working on a new project, getting some tips from one another. That's what artists do. So I, I think that it's likely that there was some kind of interaction on one of the other's project, but I doubt there's some kind of major team up happening. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like this might be a collaboration. Like when I talk to Jake and I'm like, dude, so like what's new? And then we happen to talk about work stuff. Yeah. That's just a friendly conversation. And sad to tell you guys that Gossip Cop is going on the record exclusively to say this is 100% not true. And then of course, you know, Hollywood life's been in the news itself lately yeah. for some of the flack that they've gotten mm. from Justin Bieber. But Selena Gomez commented on this Instagram that you're seeing last year in 2014 to say, Hollywood life is never true ever. Ugh. Pretty definitive. Yeah, but let's talk about Ariana Grande. So I hate to tell you guys, but I looked, I scoured the internet over this rumor and I'm pretty sure it's not true. The reason that these two are in the headlines this week together is because of Taylor's support over Ariana's feminist manifesto, which if you haven't read it yet, it's fantastic. You need to go read it and get educated um, on what these ladies are supporting. And Taylor Swift basically just responded to Ariana Grande on Twitter saying, I'm so proud of you always, but especially today. And then she quoted the article to say she will need her sisterhood but I mean, a collaboration between any of these people would be straight up off the charts. Yeah, no, it would be it would be a huge hit, and I think it's just good to remember that these are artists who spend a lot of time together, so they're going to talk about mm -hmm. the projects they're working on and get input on those things. But as far as a big commercial investment on a on a group song or anything like that, I I just don't buy it. I know it's really depressing, but you guys. This rumor we wish was true is totally false. false. Why is it that all of the things we want to happen on this show are never true and all of this crazy shiz is always actually happening? Because the world's a messed up place, Jocelyn. Why did why does Hayden Christensen get to keep having an acting career? <laughs> Hayden Christensen is a ferret that learned how to talk. He couldn't even talk. He's not He's Darth so Vader. impassioned. He's not Darth Vader. So impassioned. I hate them. We have come full circle, people. We're breaking down rumor number two today, which is another one I'm fingers crossed hoping is true. Nicki Minaj, Miley Cyrus, Lady Gaga, Rita Ora, maybe even more people. Are they all set to be in Madonna's new music video? I feel like this is almost the newest thing. Like she's pulling a Taylor Swift move. Some would say, I would not say that. Some would say that. What do I you wouldn't think? say it's a Taylor Swift move. It's a popular thing to do, but it's been this way. It's it's a team up move. Mm -hmm. and, and this really got started now, I think, when Avengers 1 came out. That was the first time where we really saw a major team up. And yeah, I'm going back to yeah. the nerd well. I love Taylor Swift. I love the Bad Blood music video, but Madonna's in a whole other category. She doesn't have a last name. Let's put it that way. She doesn't even need a last name. So Madonna's actually gone on the record already on Twitter to say that yes, there will be quote, many surprise guests and that this music video for her new track is coming 
soon. P.S. The track is called Bitch, I'm Madonna. It feels like she has reinvented herself so many times that now she's surrounding herself with these very, very popular and in the moment artists. It kind of seems like they're all doing Madonna a favor, despite the fact that Madonna is an originator. She was a big part of what made the female pop star. She was she made a roadmap for a lot of other artists. I think it's a great business idea oh, it's to gonna have be, a lot of people. I'm in gonna music watch video. it, and I don't like Madonna, but, but I'm going like, to watch it. But Madonna, yeah, we hear that she's gonna have people like Nicki Minaj and Diplo who are confirmed to be in the video because yeah. they're a part of the song, obviously, in the video. But people like Katy Perry and Lady Gaga and Rita Ora and Miley Cyrus don't really need help. Yeah. It's more like it's a cool squad. It's almost like a squad of people that are sometimes in the press for being too edgy and she's like embracing all it, of them and she's like, bitch, I'm Madonna. And they're it, like, bitch, I'm Katy Perry. Who cares? It I does love feel it. like she got the bad girls club together I love in it. contrast to the cast that was in uh, Taylor's video. Mm -hmm. This kind of stuff takes so long to plan. I don't think that this was a direct response to Taylor's video at all. No, not at all. Because she loves Taylor Swift. She's even said it. She loves Taylor. But this rumor about all these people being in Madonna's music video is totally... True. 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 I freaking hope it's so. True. Who would you like to see in this video, Ooh. given the choice? Mm. Anyone. Anybody. Donatella from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hayden Christensen. Stephen Amell from Green Arrow. I don't know why. I just want to see him Because hopefully he'll be shirtless. I'm going to go with Barack Obama <laughs> um, because that would be a major mic drop. Did Miley and Liam break up due to Miley being bisexual? Oh, okay, this is a really interesting question that you ask, and yet again, guess where this rumor comes to us from? Hollywood Life. Tis true. Here's what Hollywood Life is saying. They're reporting, quote, it didn't contribute to the split. Immaturity, family planning, and career goals were the main reasons for the breakup. There were a lot of arguments based on starting a family, careers, how to coexist as celebrities, sex, and who Miley wanted was never really an issue. And I would imagine, I, I mean, I don't know, because you're like a part of the Hemsworth family. I would be curious to like hear about what the inside track is. They were engaged, so... I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on in their personal business. I think I think this raises a very interesting question in entertainment news. Hollywood Life is asking the question, did Miley and Liam break up due to her sexuality? And then they answer that question in their own article in the negative. So it's obviously clickbait. It's totally true. And so we're at a point now where we're prying open people's very, very personal issues and just inserting questions just to cause a problem. And mm -hmm. that's that's where we're at with internet journalism where it's that easy and it's that quick. Mm -hmm. But to me, it seems highly unlikely that there is any truth to this whatsoever. Um, frankly, it would be impossible to prove one way or the other. And it's a pretty messed up thing to assert that either Liam or Miley are so fundamentally affected by her own sexuality as a reason to guess why their relationship didn't work mm -hmm. the first time around or... P.S. Like, we're not a part of this relationship, so can we all just get over it since they broke up a long time ago? Yeah. But both of them move on, and very similarly to what we've discussed about Ariana Grande's manifesto, why are we constantly having to define people by the relationships they're in? Why can't we just say, like, Liam's a great actor, he's super hot, he's, like, in your family, and Miley is a very talented artist and a philanthropist. Particularly with somebody like Miley and Liam. Knowledge bombs are dropped, but again, our goal is to really debunk these rumors. Yeah. And so this rumor is totally, completely, and utterly false. False. So false. Thank you. I feel like we would make up way better stuff. Like positive things. You and I could come up with way, like, did you guys hear that Ariana Grande spent her entire summer making candy for impoverished children in Syria? Because oh I heard gosh. about that. Yeah. And we've got some questions to wrap things up. I want to know, would you rather be in Taylor Swift's Bad Blood Crew or Madonna's Bitch on Madonna Gang? It's such a tough choice. And to follow up on that question, do you guys really think all of these people are going to be in Madonna's music video? Katy Perry, Rita Ora, Nicki Minaj, Diplo, Lady Gaga, the list goes on and on. Um, let us know what you think. And of course, hit the comment section to leave your rumors, leave some comments. Please leave some love for the Davis duo right here. I think we need it's to get dynamic. Jersey. We need to get Jersey. We should. Dynamic Davis duo.
Boom. Done and done. Throw some D's on it. <laughs> Boom. I'm Jocelyn Davis. This is Jake Davis. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Is Kylie Jenner engaged? Click to the left to find out. And if you want even more Rumor Patrol, click to the right to find out what the deal was with Victoria Justice maybe replacing Nina Dobrev on The Vampire Diaries. Do it.